Hi guys, welcome to the Battle of the Beauty Puzzlers 2. My name is Jeanette and I'll be representing Slovenia today. I'm going to be competing against five other puzzlers today and some of them you've already seen and some of them are still to come. So they are Donna Louise, Juby, Judy, Vicky and we've got a special guest, Ross, this time. And obviously any of you guys that managed to get the puzzle and want to join in on the fun. The rules are basically the same as the first time around. If you haven't seen it, don't worry about it. I'm going to put everything in the description box below. But there is one thing I'm really going to have to ask you to not do. So please do not write any times or any spoilers into the comments. So we don't spoil it for anyone who's going to be watching it later down the line. So thank you for that and let me show you the puzzle now. The puzzle is a 750 piece puzzle by Gallison and the title of this one is Flora Heart. I'm not gonna lie, the piece count scares me a little bit because I've only speed puzzled 1000 piece puzzle so far and it took me 6 hours and I was completely exhausted after doing it. So I don't really know what to expect from this puzzle because I normally puzzle just 500 piece puzzles and this one has really like similar colours and it's also like shaped which is also something new, like I'm not used to that either. I honestly don't know how long it's supposed to take me to do this puzzle because I've got no reference and I'm not gonna know until I see other time, so there's gonna be quite nerve-wracking <laughs> waiting to get all of the results. One thing we changed this time around is basically because it's a larger piece count puzzle, we decided we are gonna give you an option to take breaks. So basically anything up to five minutes doesn't count as a break, so you can just pause the timer I don't know, go get some water or a snack, go to the loo, doesn't matter. Anything above five minutes is gonna count as a break. So you can basically take as many breaks as you want, but if it's above five minutes, you just have to mark it down as a break. And then once you do the final result in the form, you're gonna be able to put the amount of breaks in as well. So obviously I'm gonna try to do it in one run without any breaks. So not sure how that's gonna go, but I think it's time to tackle the puzzle. Wish me luck! I cannot tell you how happy I am that this battle is happening again. Like the first time around it went so well and I just hope that many of you are gonna be able to join in this time too. Obviously this time the puzzle is a bit more difficult than the first time around and it's got a higher piece count as well but I think it will make it more fun because it's so different and I think all the people that love doing flowers it's gonna be their turn now because honestly for me Flowers are the worst nightmare in a puzzle and with this one they're all similar colours as well which just doesn't help. I have to say that as soon as I flipped all the pieces over I realised that this puzzle won't be easy. Like I had a plan to do the frame first and then build a puzzle from the middle but obviously this plan didn't work because all the pieces don't stick together and with some pieces I would never know that they're the edge pieces either because it's a shaped puzzle so some of them were like so weirdly like turned that I had no idea that they were the edge pieces until I actually put them in. So I have to say when I realized that I panicked a little bit and had to change the tactic so I decided I'm just gonna eliminate the color with the least pieces and just keep eliminating the colors until I run out of pieces. And that was actually quite a story with this puzzle because at one point I thought I'm not gonna be able to join in the battle because the puzzle just didn't and didn't arrive. I basically ordered the puzzle from German Amazon which is something I do all the time like majority of my puzzles come from German Amazon and they normally arrive within a week and this puzzle it was like one week has passed, two weeks have passed and I was like, what is going on? I had no idea what's happening. I really wanted to contact Amazon, but it was still within the estimated arrival time. So there was nothing I could do about it. And it took about three weeks for the puzzle to arrive. When I finally got it, I was so happy. I cannot tell you because I was genuinely worried that it's not gonna arrive on time. And as you can see, I managed to join in the battle. So everything ended up well at the end. There is one thing I want to warn you about this puzzle is it's got a gloss finish which is not something that bothered me because I managed to get a really sunny day outside so I was really lucky when it came to that because I didn't have to put any lights on but I would advise you if you get the puzzle to definitely do it during the day and preferably when it's sunny outside because as soon as you're gonna turn the lights on I think the reflection can be quite bad so you want to avoid doing that. I think it can make the puzzle a lot more difficult than it needs to be so I hope you live in a sunny place. 
I think the gloss finish is definitely something I dislike in puzzles, especially because I like to puzzle in the late evening as well when it's dark outside. So if I have the lights on, it's just not possible to puzzle really. And you don't even see the color difference that much as well, which is also something that's really important with this puzzle, because I could see when the sun came out that there was like the slight gradient between the pieces became a lot more obvious. So definitely do it in the sun if possible, because it's gonna help you out so, so, so much. So this was definitely harder than what I expected it to be and at one point I thought I'm gonna have to take a break because I just couldn't, I didn't even know what to do anymore. I started off by just flipping all the pieces over and then I eliminated the frame which was completely useless <laughs> because I couldn't even do the frame because there are some pieces I didn't know if they're actually a part of the frame or like the inside because some of the pieces don't have prongs on every side so I think it was definitely a waste of time to eliminate the frame because I couldn't use it anyway. So it took me three hours without breaks to finish this puzzle, but I did have a bit of increased difficulty levels when my sister dropped the puppy on the puzzle. If I had a chance to do this puzzle again, I think I would go for the full sort method, because at the end when I separated the colors, it became a lot more fluent to do the puzzle. But there is so many different shapes in this puzzle that it's really hard to do like shape sorting. But there were no misfits and it was really clear to see which pieces fit together, so that's a good thing. This was my first time doing a Gallison puzzle, so I didn't really know what to expect from the quality. But what I noticed is when I was flipping all the pieces over that some of them were stuck together and like quite badly stuck together, so it was really difficult to separate them. So some of the pieces got a bit damaged probably because I was rushing as well. <laughs> so. But nevertheless, there's one thing that I wanna share with you as well is on the box, there is a cut, it's a pattern, and it's the actual cut of the puzzle. So it's gonna help you in putting the puzzle together because I referred to it a few times. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, but it did help because it helps you know which piece comes next or even the direction which the flower is standing. So definitely a useful tool, especially like when you have more difficult puzzles and you can refer to the puzzle box. I think all of the puzzles should have that because sometimes you just feel so stuck that you just wanna give up. And I think it's an easy way to make puzzling more enjoyable because you know if you get stuck you can still solve the puzzle. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you managed to get the puzzle to join in on the fun and don't forget to watch the others. Bye!